My name is Mina Hurfar. I'm a professor in School of Engineering. I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm also director of a School of Engineering. So the, it's a very funny story. I was always, when I was a kid, um, interested in alchemy. And I wanted to transform metals to gold. I believe it's going to happen. And I even remember I was three years old and I took all of my um, sort of gold uh, bracelets and a necklace and I put them in the bottle of uh, Coke and I put them in the ground. And I thought that tomorrow morning I'm going to have a gold tree. So this was something that I was always fascinated with. And that was the starting point of, uh, for me to start looking into science and see that what are the fundamentals behind the science. Of course, you cannot transform any other metals to gold. I learned that later on. But that was the beginning for me to get interested in science. What I like to do is helping people. So as a professor, as an educator in the classroom when I teach, I like to make sure that my students absorb as much as they can the knowledge and they can help other people. In my research, I also like to help people. Whatever product I make in my lab, they have to be useful. They have to help community. They have to help people, the next generation of people on the planet. So I work a lot for the water quality, air quality, energy saving, um, biomedical applications, health applications to help human beings and the planet to be better for the future to come. So when my son was born, one of the most horrible memories I have um, in the ER, emergency room, going almost every week. He had infection, ear infection, and we didn't know it's the viral or it's bacteria. So I came home and I said, we need to do something to be able to distinguish between bacterial infection or viral infection. What if we can do with devices that in the clinic, you do the swab or you take a blood and right away you can say, don't worry, you don't need an antibiotic, go home, rest, 24 hours you'll be better. Or no, you need an antibiotic, you don't need to wait for 24 hours for the lab to come back with the results. So that is something I'm passionate to do. We haven't achieved completely, but we've been able to separate viruses and bacteria and be able to distinguish and detect them. So that is one of the most exciting part of my research. I still need lots of work, but I think it can help human and, and planet. Uh, another part of my research that I'm very excited uh, is the olfactory system or the nose. Um, myself, I have a very strong olfaction system and what I love to do is to develop a system which we have done to be able to smell and diagnose diseases. One of the diseases that we do is measuring the amount of um, odor in the breath and say that somebody has diabetes or not. Uh, this is much better than poking the, 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 your, your finger. I've done it for many times and after a while I lost actually the sensation, the tip of my fingers. So imagine just breathing into a device and can give you the, the information that whether you have a diabetic or how is your relationship to your blood sugar in your body. So these are the two exciting parts of my research. But more important than all of this, I think is talent discovery and empowering my students. The research we do is just not me. It's my students who come and to trust me and my wisdom and my guidance, and they give me the best years of their lives to deliver something to other community and other people in the planet. I always question myself, and I always still think that I'm wrong. I never believe in what I'm doing. I always think that like an imposter in a room. This is the biggest challenge I have and I still am working on it. I have no confidence in what I do most of the time. I get the confidence from my students that they look at me and say that, yes, that's doable, we can do it, Mina. But by myself, this is the biggest challenge, not only in my research, even in my job, I always think that I'm not good enough. I cannot do this. Oh, there are so many other things that I have to think about. What if this goes wrong? So how I overcome it, every morning I wake up and I say there is nothing bigger or more important that I cannot do. Anything here, anything on earth is doable. I can do it as, 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 as Mina. So that's the biggest challenge, I still work on it. But remember that you're not alone. If you feel the same way, there's nothing big for you to not be able to do it. So this is what I told myself and I overcome my challenge up here. Follow your passion. If you follow your passion, you can do anything you put your mind into it. 
if you love something to do, the outcome will be fabulous. So just find what you like, what makes you wake up in the morning, and follow that and make it work. If it is discovering something, do it. If it's walking in the nature, do it. If it's going to a movie theater after the pandemic is over, do it. Whatever is your passion, do it, and I'm sure that is going to be a wonderful outcome.